Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, uh, we've got a video about one of my favorite artifacts in the collection. Uh, a couple of years ago, when the Cathedral of Notre Dame uh, burned and was significantly damaged, one of the priests there, I think it was, ran back in to save a relic. And that prompted us to start talking here, if we had some incident like that, what would be the one object we ran back into the ship to grab? And honestly, for a ship like this, that's a very hard question. Most of the artifacts in our collection um, are not important, like his hugely important to the historical record. They're interesting because they belong to the ship's sailors and that sailor had a story. And when we display that on the ship in that sailor's space uh, with their story, it is a compelling artifact. So um, the, the, by far and away the most important artifact the Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial has in its possession is Battleship New Jersey. And without the context of the battleship, most of the other things we have are comparatively unimportant. Uh, if those were standalone objects, they probably wouldn't be accepted by other museums. The closest thing to an object we have that might be related to somebody historically significant um, is this phone right here. This uh, phone, a donor was able to recover while dumpster diving and then reached out to us decades later and asked about donating it. And we haven't yet got it out on display, but uh, that is something we want to do with it very soon because of its importance. This phone is part of the original internal communication system between the high-ranking officers on the ship. Phones like this would have been in the captain's cabin, the XO's cabin, and probably more importantly, the various flag spaces throughout the ship. And we know that both from our cruise books in which pictures of these phones or these phones show up in the background, like on the captain's desk and in the XO's cabin and in uh, what they have listed as the Halsey suite, uh, and because the phone itself has a list of uh, buttons on it, depending on which person you want to get on the line. Now, internal communications is very important on American battleships. It is inside the armored citadel. And uh, the old system, which was uh, like an old-timey switchboard system, was completely removed and changed in the 1980s. In the 1980s, they added a phone in just about every compartment on the ship. There's over 800 ships in the uh, ship's phone system now. The rotary phones, each one has a four-digit code, uh, so you can call another compartment. During World War II, most of the communications was compartment to compartment, and uh, phones like this where you push which compartment you want were kind of standard. They, there were other systems, but we're talking about this today. This is interesting. We know it's an important object from a flag space because it's got all this decorative brass work on it, even though this was built under wartime austerity measures. Also, it is painted with a wood grain pattern like we see in the other flag spaces on the ship. Uh, so even before I started reading it and looking into what it was, we knew that this was important. It was somehow associated with the ship's World War II admirals. So, uh, the story of how we got this artifact. The donor said that they worked at the Long Beach Naval Shipyard and they pulled it out of a dumpster there in 1982. So during this time, we know that the Admiral's cabin uh, on Battleship New Jersey is gutted. And all that stuff is thrown in a dumpster when they're installing the Combat Engagement Center in that very same space. So, uh, it's impossible to tell which of these spaces the phone is from, but there's a strong chance it comes from the Admiral space uh, and therefore is associated with Admirals like Halsey and Spruance and Clark who commanded fleets from on board the ship. Uh, and not only were these overly elaborate and quite bulky phones traded out in the 1980s, so was most of the rest of the internal communication system. The 1MC system was completely swapped out because it would overheat after about 45 seconds. So they put in a modern system 
Uh, the phones, like I said earlier, are switched out with things that you can dial instead of having to use a switchboard operator. Um, and I've even seen pictures of this type of phone on other battleships that are contemporary to New Jersey, like older ships. So um, very interesting that this has survived and we're very happy to have it. Because these phones are part of the internal communication, you can't dial back home on one of these. You can only dial other places on the ship. There are some phones on the ship that can be used to dial off, but that implies that you're in port and you're wired into uh, a phone system in the port to be able to call. So these are purely for shipboard uh, communications. Can you think of any other artifacts that you've seen on Battleship New Jersey that uh, I should rush back in to grab in the event of a fire? Well, let us know in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourself. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so that more people find out about the museum and our channel. And if you'd like to interact with me on a more personal level, I've started a Facebook page, so you can come over and drop a comment there if you've got questions or want to talk about other future videos, things like that. Thanks for watching.